Hey guys, Ken uh, with Tax Canine here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I wanted to share with you a, uh, a new uh, prong collar hack, uh, at least new to me, maybe new to you, and um, I wanted to share with ways of how you could do it on your own. Uh, now, full transparency, I did not get this idea. Um, I modified it from somebody else. Uh, I just thought I could find a unique way of making it a little bit easier, see if I could duplicate it. Um, however, uh, this idea originally came from Jason Lake, at least where I got it from was Jason Lake over at Pro Dogs Professional Dog Training, and he's in Medford, Oregon. So Jason does sell these on his website. I bought two whenever colleagues are putting out new products, books, ideas, I will support them. Uh, I will purchase what their offerings or their wares, um, good, bad, or indifferent. If it's something like good, uh, something that's good, um, I, I, I spread it like gospel. If it's something I'm not so fond of, I just put it in my rack of other miscellaneous tools. Um, if it's something I think has some potential, I build off of it. And that's what I really saw with Jason's tool here. Um, basically, the concept is this. Uh, on, a, on your standard prong collar, we have that little swivel ring. Well, what we did was we just removed that swivel ring and we added two one inch black key rings. Um, and then you would basically put the two key rings together. You thread them at the ends of the prong collar that you removed the swivel from, and then you put your clip through them. And then voila, you basically got yourself an easy on, easy off martingale collar, uh, prong collar type. However, um, one additional idea he had, and this is where we kind of differ, was he's using these little round clips that you push in, almost like those little uh, binder clips or uh, that you'd, you'd see in uh, old uh, 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 you know, binders and the three ring binders, um, something similar, um, and only you push it in. It, it, to activate it, you gotta push it in. Um, well, that idea was basically to clip these two together as a, uh, a ring keeper or something like that. Um, well, it's, it, it is very good. Uh, I found that clients were having difficulty with it and they were losing it. And uh, so I just looked and found a, a new, unique way of doing it, maybe a little bit better, a little bit uh, more cost effective uh, if you're doing a lot of these. Um, I don't do a whole heck of a lot. Um, of prong collars for my clients. A lot of stuff I do is, is with, with the ropes and slip leads and stuff like that. But when I do have a dog, um, I will use a, a prong collar when, when, when the job calls for. So this is how I made my modification, okay? I got myself a regular Herm Springer collar, all right? Bought it off of, I actually buy them off of Amazon, like I said, I don't buy a lot of them. So, um, so take your, your, your accoutrements off of it. Um, all the advertising and now what I want you to do is we lay out the prong collar right here okay you have your dead ring or your D ring and then we've got our little swivel clip up here this is the part we're actually going to cut off the two additional pieces that I did was I found these black key rings uh, you can buy them on Amazon I believe I spent eight dollars for oh, I think there's a uh, hundred of them in here one inch rings uh, they're just key rings they're basically what you would slip your keys onto um, and then a little tool that I used was I bought a micro carabiner, okay? But it has a solid um, ring that I, on the actual carabiner itself, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, so I'm gonna try and zoom in on it, but right here there's a little loop that you can thread through on the carabiner key ring, uh, or the, the, you can slide the carabiner onto the key ring. So I already have one set up here as to what it's gonna look like, and I have my other, uh, clip or my other my other black clip so the first thing I do is I'm gonna get a pair of uh, crimpers wire cutters uh, just as long as it has the sharp tips at the end you can crimp the other ones at the bottom and uh, this might take a little manual dexterity but I uh, have found to keep as many links as possible as I will just clip the main ah. I will just clip the main uh, swivel off as that shoots across the room. We'll thread this ring, we'll thread it right back through again. And this is where people have used ropes, they've used all sorts of great, great, wonderful ideas. I really, really like the idea. So uh, once again, not mine, Jason's. Um, take your key ring and take the end ring of the one uh, clip that you're that you're gonna uh, that you've clipped off one part of the chain 
and thread it through. I have found that on the other side, just pre-assemble your, your ring and your carabiner clip, pop it through on the other side. And then, voila, you have yourself now a clip-on, easy-on, off-y, easy-off prong collar. All right, guys? Here's the key, though. you got to tell your clients to clip both the rings. All right? If they can't clip one, they got to clip both rings. It's the only difference. But the added convenience of being able to take it on and off makes things a lot easier. Uh, the only reason I added the carabiner on there was to, one, make it easier for the client so that these two pieces stay together in case uh, they go ahead to un and miss clip one. They still have the other one. They hopefully will be able to make their proper adjustments. Um, but once again, I bought these on Amazon. This was $8.99 for one inch black key rings. Um, and then just search for mini carabiners. And if you find a carabiner that's got the little loop on it that you can thread on, uh, you've got yourself a nice prong collar modification. Um, this is for the 2.25s. I'm sure it works on the 3.0s and the bigger ones too. You just might uh, have more metal to cut. Uh, but once again, guys, uh, I didn't come up with this. I just saw something, modified it, made it work a little bit better, uh, and I'm sharing it with you. Uh, if you're doing a lot of these, it would be worth the investment to get the tools and do this all yourself, probably. Uh, or if you sell them to your shop or your clients and so forth. But if you're just looking for one-offs, one, two, three, four, contact Jason. Uh, Jason at ProDox and uh, his contact number is 541-608-2857 or just look him up online. It's ProDox, P-R-O-D-O-G-Z. Um, go ahead and contact him if you want to buy a couple. That's all I did is I use them. I use them personally for training and I wanted something easy on and off, but I'd always provide my clients with the, the, the typical, here's how you take the prong collar on and off kind of thing. Um, till I realized that I could uh, manufacture something um, fairly inexpensively uh, for my client. So if you're looking to buy a large quantity of them and you don't want to mess with this, contact Jason. Uh, if it's you're a do-it-yourself do, do, do kind of person, very simple. Just clip both rings, make your modification, and away you go. All right, guys. Uh, I have also been tinkering with a couple other ideas uh, as I kind of perfect them a little bit. I'll share them with you. Um, but other than that, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Thanks, guys.